artist has to inscribe both testimony and prayer to enter the threshold of the Lincoln Community Garden. We sit together, plants pushing up through box soil. We contemplate and receive the greenery, bursting against the background of beautiful murals speaking hope. Sunflowers pushing up. This is how we grow. This is how we create. We don't hear the stories of people who live in these communities, and that's part of the why you know the communities have a harder time finding back. So when we have these organizations that are helping create a platform for their voices, um, and we do art like this where we're trying to sort of draw attention, then we're able to work together with those communities. Richmond, both low income and low access to fresh, healthy foods, a community of 89% Black, Asian, and Latino, whose land is ringed by refineries, super fun sites, highways, and rail yards. Flanking the water, but still a food desert. I am Michelle Wapo from my grandmother on my mother's side, and then I am Navajo, also known as Dina, from my uh, mother's father's side. And so within the Dine culture, there is this idea that it's actually through your holy breath that you have the ability to restore the balance on the earth and the same word for song is the same word for prayer. Inhale and exhale fire, temperature and the air gets higher, ride wings up to the clouds, slip into the rain and feel inspired, come down through the Water. Mother Earth sees her daughter Make my way back to the ground Climb through the canal Go even father I wake up at dawn And I wonder what I Hip-hop in the community Has always addressed You know, people's needs And what people care about Whether or not we've had a platform To lift it up Where some justice Grow some seeds To get in the earth Where they grow sharees Gotta promote the culture For those in need Yo, the world's got folks to feed uh, And we'd be wise to utilize What our kids are all into uh, to help, you know, facilitate their, their foundations of learning, education, finding identity, expressing and fighting back. So uh, it's just natural, you know, my culture is hip hop. You know, you know, we work with a lot of you and you work with Urban Amplified and people in a lot of places, but one thing we know we gotta use the music in hip hop culture. How many people love that hip hop music, that powerful hip hop music, that worldwide music, you know, that reach the heart, that thunder the people, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take it to you with the spot, check it. Oh, I'm in love with the people. So much power in the word, so much power in a picture, so much power in dance that, you know, regular conversation may not be able to capture and really uh, convey to something. But if I put it in a rap, my generation, I got you. I got your, I got my generation in my in my hand and I'm able to, to teach them or hurt them. I'm able to raise them up or bring them down with what I do. For me, the importance of art and activism um, lies within uh, the people taking responsibility for their own struggle and owning whatever gifts they have and merging those two. What we can do in positions where we might have other privilege is that we can amplify that work. Air is breath, the breath is life. Air is breath, the breath is life. We don't care for air, we don't have life. And the air is breath, the breath is life. Breath is air and air is life. Through, through music, we, we have the ability to not only heal seven generations in front of us, but also seven generations behind us because we are a reflection of our ancestors. And so, you know, I just, I think for music, it, it's not only healing for others, it's also healing for me. Change happens when we realize that we are accountable to that situation and that as artists, we're constantly saying, we're accountable to it as the people here up on the stage you're accountable to it as an audience member. Once you hear the story and you're affected, that story belongs to you.